The overall goal of this procedure is to visualize the bacteriocin activity of Streptococcus pneumoniae using the overlay assay. This is accomplished by first stabbing the producer strain onto a TSA plate. In the second step, the overlay strain mixture is prepared and then pipetted slowly onto the TSA plate containing the stabbed producer strain. In the final step, bacterial activity is assessed. Ultimately, the overlay assay can be used to show bacteriocin activity or pheromone production by the stabbed strain of interest. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, like the direct purification of bactericins, is that this method is a rapid way to establish a range of bactericin activity and to screen multiple strains for bactericin production. Demonstrating the procedure will be Natalie Maracek, a graduate student in my laboratory. To prepare the bactericin producer, begin by streaking the pneumococcal strain of interest on a 5% sheep blood TSA plate and incubate the plate overnight at 37 degrees Celsius in 5% carbon dioxide. The next morning, pipette 3,000 to 4,000 units of catalase onto plates containing 25 milliliters of TSA and use sterile glass beads to spread the catalase across the plates. After letting the plates dry for about 10 minutes under a biological safety cabinet, collect a visible quantity of bacteria onto a pipette tip and stab the pipette tip into the dried TSA plate. If possible, include a known bactericin producer as a positive control and the strain to be used in the overlay as a negative control, providing adequate